optimize uh, build order to take a little bit quicker than if you go for triple farm and arcane tower because you know against farseer it's good to have arcane tower yeah and uh if you go three farm and arcane tower you take so late if the ore goes you know farseer one grunt and one burrow so i wanted to oh. take quicker so i do two farms instead yeah I've, I've seen that but doesn't limit that your militia creeping so can you still creep with militia or do you have to skip that well it depends on the map uh like on echo isle you only do the first camp with five and then after that you, you there's really nothing you can militia creep if there is a false on you anyway so you yeah. can you, yes you can do the first camp with five militia anyway and then tech and uh, okay so, so you go for the merc camp on echo Isles then no 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 you, you don't like that's uh, really risky i have like my own specific style against orc i don't think it's I'm not going to claim it's like the best by far, but it's what I do the best with. So, you know, mm -hmm. like some humans, they play rifle caster, they play like mountain king second, but for me, it's like much harder to play. So I play more like the old school style, like the two main style against orc is rifle caster or mass casters. I play yeah. more the mass caster style. So I'll, okay. I'll yeah. show you the start of the build order now. Yep, perfect. And then hopefully like you need to remember everything. So I don't know if you have something to take notes. Uh, maybe I should have told you. Yes, before. I do. Okay. So in the start, it's just going to be the basic altar that you will get uh, here every single time. And yeah, again, like the big difference here is that I will only get two farms. And I like the first footman needs to scout across the map. You just send that across the map, not in attack move, but in move commands. So you can even run past him if he's around. And the goal for that is that you want to see his exact build order and what hero is opening with. And mm -hmm. even before I see a zero, I'm going to start an arcane tower. If it's a fast here, I will keep it. If it's a blade master, I will cancel the arcane, the arcane tower. You don't have an arcane tower against blade master? No, no, no. It's useless. Because I have a perfect wall anyway. You can't get in. Okay. There's no point. What is it? Yes, my lord. And w what are you looking for when you scout the orc base? Like, like, what, what, what are the points are you looking for? You're checking. Uh, like first, like obviously, when you rally it across the map, the most important is to see if he has a farseer coming to you or a blade coming to you, and then or if he's creeping, and then you just check how quickly he's taking, how many burrows he made. Was it one burrow? Was it two burrow? Has and then how does that change your decision making? So, for example, if he just has one burrow, what does that? If he has one burrow, like I personally, I like to creep. Some humans, they like to go and kill the second burrow. But I think you can just creep and know how fast his tech is going to be. So then that can help you know a long time in advance when his tier 2 is going to finish so that you can follow up scouts. Okay. So that uh, you can start reacting. But when you, like, uh, this is going to be an important rule that also you need to follow is that when you're about to reach tier 2, you need to be checking the org base. Because his tech will almost always finish before yours and then he will start his tech. And then you can start adjusting to his tech. So you mm -hmm. see my first footman right now, I've clicked like literally where his main building is. But my first footman is going to run there and then you can even shift it all the way back to your side of the map. Mm -hmm. I'm going to morph my tower. And then now is where you have a choice, 22 out of 24. On some maps like uh, Conceal Hill, for example, you can maybe not make the third footman and instead you make two more militia. Because that way you can creep on the map and then you can creep with just your militia near your base because there are so many small camps. Mm, okay, so you take five militia even for the green camp. Yeah, yeah, for this one, yeah. You can do it okay. with four probably, but yeah, five seems easy yeah. and then you, you will be done long. Uh, so sadly, this guy is human, so there's not much yeah. to see. Let's just imagine that you saw a Farseer coming to you now. Uh -huh. so you're just going to let that, that one finish the tower and then now you're going to pull back next to your tunnel. Your footman will come back to your Archmage. And then you're just going to stand there until the Arcane Tower is finished for a little bit and then like nothing's gonna be happening for a while maybe he's gonna attack your hero you can make your other water elemental you just keep these alive and your goal is to just tech fairly quickly you, you can even send back the peasants like this if you think you have enough food sadly for me uh -huh. i didn't have enough so like, it will be delayed a little yeah, bit but not that much and now i think i have 10. and then now you can uh, when, the, when the arcane tower is finished you can head down here to creep this and then you just resume creeping, basically. You creep what you can, depending on how much you are being harassed. If there is a fast on you, maybe it's going to be a little hard, but you still have to. Then you, I would recommend making two farms now, because then you don't have to worry about that anymore. Mm -hmm. And very important against Orc, make the blacksmith outside of your wall. So I like making it near the barracks, personally, like this, you see? Okay. Because then inside you will have enough room to make uh, the shop and both Arc and Sanctum. You, you know, like later when Orc has like 50 supply and they attack you with Raiders and Speed Scroll? Yeah. If you have the shop outside, it's going to die in one second. If you have Arcane Sanctum, it's even worse. It's going to die. So now, 
on the right of my gold mine, I can make shop or arcane sanctum, and then on the other oh, space, I can make both buildings like, very easily because and I put my lumber mill outside. And when will you go for for the shop? Is that the the next thing you build right away after tacking, or no, do you like, take it? <clears throat> it really depends on how your wood is going. Now I made three footmen, so I don't have an insane amount of wood. So like now, if you look at my wood, it's not that high. So I think you don't need the shop right now. Like look at my units. I don't really need to heal. I think for the most part, even if you have a bunch of low HP units, you can just put them in your base and then wait to have priests to heal them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the shop is no rush. I like to get my shop after I get my double sanctum. Because I feel like you're going to have a lot of wood problems if you try to make the shop too early. And also, oh, that's re yeah, that's related. a very important thing about Orc is that they have more HP than you and a lot of the fights you just cannot take. So you need to choose your fights very carefully. And sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's just there is being super annoying, so you just want to fight. But there is actually many fights you can run away from. Not all of them, but the many fights you can just say, okay, I don't need to fight right now. And what would you say is the first fight you can take then? What what do you have to wait for to be able to fight? Uh, I mean, it, just, it depends on your confidence, you know, if you have a good early game micro and you get like some class of attack and stuff, and mm -hmm. the guy is harassing you with walls and like Farsi and some grunts, maybe you can try to kill the walls, you know, but don't try to kill a grunt, like you're gonna lose like everything for that. I, okay, I, so I always say. focus the wolves. Yeah, in the start, because they're the one unit you can kill. So now usually, like you see, even my scout is a little late. I should have sent my peasant before to his main base. Because like I said, when your tier 2 finishes, when you need to decide what you go for. So I'm going to make one arcane sanctum, a second one, and even the shop now. And it's obviously you know that you need to make the arcane sanctums with two peasants. And then, now depending on what you see, that's how you're going to adapt. And also you need to choose a second hero, so against... Uh, Blade Master, I like Mountain King second, so I level it for clap. But against Farseer, I don't think that. Personally, I don't really like Mountain King. I like getting either like Panda or Alchemist as second, because I feel oh, like wow, they do yeah. more damage. They have a lot more utility. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna try to show you that here. So no, I didn't lose any unit. Obviously, it's a computer. I'm just. So and let's two imagine. Peasants per, yeah, the two Sorry. peasants per Arcane Sanctum. Yeah, that's super important because you need your casters out as soon as possible. I see, okay. So now That's if your wood is like mine right now, it's like not that high. You can get the wood upgrades to help with that. It's gonna be very nice. And let's say that you, if you scouted a quick bestiary, maybe you don't make the second Arcane Sanctum. Instead you make a Gryphon Aviary so that you can actually mm -hmm. get some anti-air pretty quickly with Dragonhawks against Wyverns. This is very important because one Wyvern can be super annoying otherwise. And I'm sure you know that I heard you talk yeah. about Wyverns. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Earlier. And then, like, no matter what his composition is, you're always gonna wanna make quite a few sorceresses first. So you should usually start with two sorceresses, and then two priests, and then two more sorceresses. Is, I think, the best order. Right now, I kinda, like, freestyled it, and I didn't do that exactly, and I'm even late with the farms. So I'm kinda talking quite a bit at the same time. But yeah, and then at the same time, you just keep up with your creeping. My advice for you is don't try to fight so much, just creep a lot. Mm -hmm. Because Panda level 3 is just really, really good, in my opinion, in general, against Orc. And if he does the Shaman style, then what, what will he not have? He will not have Spirit Walkers. And if he doesn't have Spirit Walkers, he can't really remove slow from his army. So then you're just gonna slow everything and win the fight. So mm -hmm. that's the goal with this build. You just make a ton of sorceresses. Like, by the time you reach 50, you almost should have no breaker against that style, I think. Just sorceresses and priests. And so what you're gonna wanna do is kite a lot. Like you, you start fighting and then you slow everything, you pull back, you re-engage and you keep doing that non-stop and then you just kill everything that way basically. I saw I saw your game against Orc earlier um, on this map when he was on the right side and I think he was playing Blades. Yeah. And you were, I think you were winning pretty hard. He had almost no mana on a lot of his spirit walkers but you weren't really kiting that much and pulling back. I think this is a very important part of the things that you need to do. Yeah, okay.